All right, so I want to show a demonstration of three abdominal exercises that you'll perform back to back. And these are the three best exercises in my opinion, for the most part, there's a couple other ones, but we're just gonna do this kind of three part circuit today. Uh, I'm gonna do the exercises and kind of talk as I'm doing it, so it'll be a little bit hard to talk and demonstrate at the same time. But basically the first thing we're doing is we're lying back. Getting a weight, you want it like a, you want a decent amount of weight for these. Legs are out straight. Okay, the weight's gonna stay right over your eye level. And what I'm doing here is I'm pushing my lower back into the ground. So no arching of the back. It's pushing the back into the ground, flexing the abs. Deep breath in on the way up here, and then fully exhale on the way up. So. Okay. So what I'm doing here is I'm not. I'm not trying to crunch my neck, okay? All I'm doing is I'm bringing my, my rib cage and my pelvis together, and my neck stays neutral. So my chin stays up, the weight stays above my chin, okay? So. And I'm pushing my lower back with the floor. Relax it here, and then. Make sure all the air is there before you move back down. The more I can exhale, forcefully exhale, the more I'm gonna contract my abdominals. And as I'm doing that, I'm really pushing my lower back as far as I can to the floor, okay? Okay, now the next one, what I'm doing is I'm gonna be holding my lower back onto the floor, so the entire time I'm, I'm pushing to the floor. And as I do this, I'm bringing, the dump, I'm bringing the weight away from me. Okay, so I'm increasing that lever length away from the abdominal, so it's gonna be very heavy here. So when I'm right here, what I wanna do is push my lower back hard into the floor, chin stays neutral, lower back in the floor, and then And I wanna feel all of this serratus, obliques, abdominals, coming in together. Okay, so as I'm coming back, Lower back does not extend, okay? Lower back stays on the floor. Hard as I can, pushing to the floor. And I'm not trying to let my belly expand too much. I'm trying to keep my stomach tight, tight as I can. Serratus tight. Lower back in the ground. Constant tension. Stomach stays tight. Okay? If you start to lose that connection, your lower back is gonna come off. You're gonna lose all the tension of your abs, so you have to keep, keep that lower back pushed into the floor. It doesn't matter how far back the weight goes. And again, forcefully exhaling all the air, all the air out. Then the third one is putting the plate right on your abs. Before I put the plate on my abs, again, lower back, push into the floor. I'm almost trying to pull my, my uh, pelvis up towards the rib cage, rib cage in towards the pelvis. And then here, I'm pushing against the plate, my lower back in the floor, no chance that you can put anything between my lower back and the floor. And then here, I'm blowing out all the air. So all the air from my obliques. And I try to inhale as little as possible. Small breaths. Like an abs and thighs pose. With your overhead.
If you do that right, it'll be excruciating. And sometimes, if you're just starting, you can do one set of those three in a row. Oh, whew. we just did three sets and my abdominals are fired there. They feel thick, okay? So even right, right now, like they feel hard, they feel thick, right? Because I'm using weight on them. I'm not just using body weight. And I, I didn't use any of my hip flexors. It's, it's all abdominals, okay? So rib cage, pelvis, together, no hip flexors. Rib, sorry, lower back, push into the ground the whole time. Now we're using serratus, obliques, TVA. The TVA is working because we're not expanding the stomach as much. We're trying to keep it tight the whole time and almost pushing towards the floor. And that's not gonna build a thick midsection. It's gonna build a really aesthetic midsection. Okay guys, hope that helps. Let's get into some arms.